There's this uh, phenomenon that I was unaware of, uh, in that when I would read books, my mind would, uh, like for instance, Lord of the Rings, um, all the characters as they're introduced, um, my mind would kind of process uh, the names, I mean like the elfin names and whatnot. Like I wasn't gonna like, like, how do I think that this name's pronounced? I'd just say, in my mind, it would just be this word. And then when the Lord of the Rings movie came out, and there were people actually that were really kind of focused on how things are pronounced, I was like, oh, gosh, I've been pronouncing it, you know, in my mind uh, uh, differently. Perhaps not wrong. So I'd actually, I'd like to talk to somebody right now, and right when I started to speak to them, I started thinking, in my mind, when I look at their channel, I think of, uh, of Yamaka. Uh, though that's not the, uh, the channel name, I feel certain. But uh, anyway, Yamaka, as, uh, as words are a means of communicating and uh, uh, representing uh, um, ideas or people. So when I say Yamaka, I mean you. <laughs> and uh, the thing about walking in the same direction, like let's talk, let's talk about the same topic. Uh, I'll talk with you, anyone else that hears uh, what I'm saying, and say, oh, I'll, I'll chime in on that, I'll chirp in on that. Um, one of the things I was thinking about is like, how best uh, can we do that? I watched your video, and I watched uh, TJ's video, and um, I was thinking like, after watching those, uh, left with a kind of a nebulous idea of actually what we're going to talk about. I think I could probably uh, um, take a stab at what I think we're talking about, but here's how I might do it. I might say uh, what I'd like to talk about is understanding things and how uh, the importance of understanding things um, should come from all sorts of different directions. Um, and all different kinds of sources. Uh, like for instance, uh, I want to understand uh, driving, I want to understand a car, and so I want to understand how it's built, and then I, uh, I want to take classes on, on an obstacle course. Um, and f based on being a part of the construction, and then uh, than going out and driving it around, coming from those two different directions, how it was put together and what it feels like uh, to be inside one moving through obstacles fast, uh, then I'll talk about, you know, what I think this car is, what I think about cars. So that's, I mean, that's, I kind of think that that's what we're talking about, but I guess what I mean is that uh, a mission statement almost, uh, a topic statement. We're going to talk about understanding and how uh, coming at it from multiple angles uh, is beneficial uh, to thorough understanding. Uh, for instance, uh, like the trees here, uh, and actually even the grass here, um, the uh, uh, understanding colors, understanding species. I mean, I'm, am I just looking at? Am I looking at pretty colors? Or am I looking at, you know, quaking aspen? Or am I looking at uh, um, uh, Kentucky bluegrass that, is, uh, that grows to its full height at, um, you know, about an inch? And uh, it's expensive, and so what people do is buy something close to it, and then they mow it to that. So they never actually grow their grass to its healthy length. <laughs> so yeah, like, you, uh, you're just not, like, am I just walking on something green? Or am I walking on something that I could identify and because I know what kind of uh, tree or what kind of grass I'm walking on, does that make it any better? Does it make it more beautiful? Um, do I understand more as I walk across it? Um, is it, uh, for instance, uh, understanding how a rainbow is made, how, it, uh, how the effect of a rainbow, understanding that, does that take away from its beauty? Does it add to the beauty? Um, I think that uh, the more information you get, especially if you have a mind kind of bent towards beauty, um, or if you have a mind kind of bent towards um, uh, 
how things are put together. Um, both those angles are going to give you a, a wider uh, amount of information and, uh, and adding more and more angles to it. Um, you know, I don't think I shall ever see anything more lovely than a tree. Uh, adding poetry, songs about trees, <laughs> like from that excellent tree song from Rush. <laughs> um, so as I walk through these trees, I'm not just walking through a bunch of things that are growing that are green. I'm thinking of poetry, I'm thinking of songs. I'm thinking of what uh, different plants uh, say to me. Um, there's bear grass. Bear grass, uh, you'll see it in bouquets. Um, long, like bear grass grows to be like three feet tall. Um, kind of, in, it grows in bushy clumps. It's that wind. Um, so yeah, I know it's used in uh, flower arrangements. I also know that it grows at uh, certain elevations and above. And so when I see bear grass, I think about its use in society, um, about people actually collect it um, and make, uh, make an income off it. They hike up, pick it, hike it back down, give it to florists. Florists hand them, you know, $20, $40. It's like, man, I'm hiking up there anyway. I could have made $40. Um, so, like, uh, the plant seems could represent money. Uh, it represents elevation. When I see it, I get happy, especially if I know I'm hiking up to uh, a certain elevation. And when I see bear grass, I have a rough idea of how much, uh, how much elevation I've gained. So, yeah, so that's what I think that's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, man, now it's really kicking in. Um... Yeah, but if I'm wrong, it's like, oh, no, 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 we're actually talking about um, how can you know when you're knowing and what does the knowing mean uh, for, uh, for understanding. Is knowing understanding or is understanding knowing? And uh, can, you know, it's like, well, I don't know. Uh, but there you go. That's my understanding of what we're talking about. And uh, maybe even an idea of how to... Uh, have a greater understanding of what we're talking about in the future, like, you know, the mission statement thing. All right, man. I will see you in the tubes.